Hey guys, Beer Leaguer here with another review, this time talking about the HockeyTraining.com Men's League Workout Programs. In particular, the Men's League Domination 2.0 Program, because that's the one that I have. Um, so just a little bit of background with me. Uh, I've been doing, uh, I guess, strength training, powerlifting kind of workouts, I guess you'd call it. Definitely not bodybuilding workouts for a number of years now, uh, for a while. I got decently strong, uh, nothing crazy. Uh, they've worked out okay for me. Uh, but never really done anything hockey specific. Uh, a lot of times I've looked up online different uh, workouts to do for hockey, and usually what you find is like different magazines and stuff will have, you know, uh, this is the Sidney Crosby workout, but it'll be like one workout that he might have maybe done in the off season. That's not really applicable to anything else. Um, or then there's stuff like the uh, the Gary Roberts workouts, which are great, but they are insane. Those are like hours a day. For like an entire summer so probably great for kids not necessarily great for a, a beer leaguer some of those that have hours a day to spend at the gym doing stuff or maybe can't even work out you know five six times a week uh, and that's what a lot of those have in it if they're not just a snapshot of one day uh somebody did something or it's made by people that really don't know anything about hockey and are just like yeah hockey it's you know the same kind of workout we said for soccer and for football and for lacrosse and for everything so that's usually what i've seen and you look at those workouts and they're just pretty uh, pretty awful honestly uh so finally i uh, came across these guys here uh this is uh, the hockeytraining.com uh website you can see i uh, came across them I actually came across them from their youtube channel uh their youtube channel is great has tons and tons of videos you can see here covering all sorts of different things um, they do do some skill stuff on there uh, occasionally, and they've done a couple like stick reviews and things like that, but really the bread and butter of it is workouts. Uh, different types of workouts, you can see they have at-home workouts, uh, they have a lot of mobility stuff, uh, conditioning workouts, agility training. Uh, here you go, some skills and drill stuff. Um, basically they have stuff specifically for goalies, off ice, on ice, uh, all sorts of different stuff. Excellent, excellent uh, content that they have there. Uh, so here you go. Uh, to walk you through what happens what you get when you sign up with them. Uh, at least what I got when I signed up with uh, this 2.0, which I believe they are just doing 3.0 coming out here shortly if it hasn't already come out. Uh, so uh, let you know if you should check it out. Uh, when you sign into it, you this is the first page that you get. Uh, pretty simple. has an introductory video. And then what you get is this particular one has a couple different phases. So you can see here, phase one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, that's what you get for the main program. Uh, and then you can also buy supplemental phases, seven through 12. Uh, each phase of the workout, uh, you can kind of see here what they're broken up into. Like they have legs and back, chest and shoulders, total body, conditioning and speed. Uh, and that's kind of the beginning of them. Uh, upper, lower body, total body, speed and then a tempo run. Uh, so they're generally broken up into uh, an upper body, a lower body, a total body, and then two kind of uh, cardio-ish workouts that are either uh, speed workouts or uh, agility workouts or something like that. Uh, now as you get later on into the, the programs, they do break them up a little bit differently, and they'll have uh, two upper body workouts and one lower body workout, and they explain why they do that. Uh, so here, I'll show you real quick what, what you kind of get here. Uh, so this is what everything comes in. It comes as a uh, PDF. They do everything with PDFs and videos, so it's real easy. Uh, for each one of the uh, phases, they tell you what the goal is, how long it is, and the duration is, I think, pretty much always four weeks, and the goal can be all sorts of different things. They've had a strength goal, where it's really just brute strength. They've had it where it's very much agility. Uh, they've had it where it's like recovery, uh, where it's building up kind of the uh, like helper slash lesser used muscles uh, with that. And so you get the goal and then they explain what you should be doing during this workout. Like what is the point of it? What should you achieve at the end of it? What should have gotten better with it? They go with that. Then they get into the schedule of it. Like I said, I think all of their workouts are uh, five days. And it's usually two of the days are kind of speed or conditioning or cardio kind of days with it. And then there's the workouts. Uh, this is just a sample workout, what kind of stuff you have. 
pretty simply laid out here. Like for this particular one, the lower body workout is uh, dumbbell squat jumps, squats, uh, Russian twists, uh, running, going three miles on a bike, which I'll say is awful. Uh, I, going three miles as hard as you can at the end of a leg workout on an exercise bike is really tough. Um, so it's, it's pretty well laid out. Uh, as you get further along in the program, they do have more things like this right here where you can see where it's uh, each set is increasing. They also start adding in things like drop sets later on. But in the beginning, they don't have any of that kind of stuff. In the beginning, it's, it's pretty straightforward, straight ahead exercises. Uh, one thing that's also really nice is for every single one of the phases, they also have videos to demonstrate all the exercises. Now again, early on in the beginning, the exercises are pretty straightforward. I mean, stuff like bench press, pull-ups, you can see here rows, um, Cuban presses, things that you probably have done uh, before. And as you get further on in the program, they have some more uh, complicated exercises, or I guess a little bit more exotic exercises as well. Um, so, But it's nice, though, to still have that reference right here to, to look at and see. So a lot of times when I'm at the gym for the first week, uh, I'll have this queued up on my phone because I will forget exactly how to do an exercise or exactly what it's supposed to be, and you can just watch the video real quick. They run through like each exercise usually twice. Really good angle to show you, and you get what it is right away. Uh, also here with the workouts, they also include here some uh, nutrition stuff. Uh, I would say, honestly, the nutrition stuff is pretty, pretty straightforward. Uh, nothing too crazy. Uh, some of the things that are nice, though, is kind of the uh, game day nutrition things. They have some good ideas for what you should and shouldn't eat uh, before games, you know, close to games or right before games. Uh, some, you know, good eating out kind of guides if you're, if you're getting fast food or something like that. Uh, and some sample meal plans. Um, like I said, that's nothing, nothing too crazy. Um, nothing uh, really out of the ordinary with the nutrition plans. Uh, down here, then, they also have a lot of stuff about uh, recovery, and smoothie recipes are actually pretty good, but a lot of stuff about recovery, which is really good, uh, taking uh, deload weeks, and why you should do them, what you should be doing during them, uh, stuff like that, super, super helpful. Uh, some webinars that they offer that have been recorded from uh, previously, so there's a general conditioning webinar, speed seminar, uh, and that's just kind of... Uh, I think they're all around 20, 30 minutes of them, just kind of going over some basic stuff and explaining kind of the ideas behind what they do. Uh, I would say it's good information. Uh, none of them are super long. Uh, they're not stuff you necessarily have to go back and watch a whole bunch, uh, but they do kind of supplement what you're getting in the program. Uh, along with that, another big recommendation I would have besides their YouTube channel is the Hockey Training Podcast. Uh, their podcast is really good. Um, they're, I think they come out twice a week, uh, kind of during the hockey-ish season, uh, about twice a week. And they're generally pretty short. They're generally around 15-ish minutes long. And they usually just cover one topic, and they cover it really well. Uh, they go kind of in-depth into it, uh, explain the science behind it, where they're coming from with it. And I think that really helps to inform how they build their programs. That's that along with the YouTube channel is what made me go. Okay, I think these guys are worth spending the money on getting a program uh, from them, uh, versus just trying to keep doing it myself or do something that's not hockey related. Uh, it does go into how they pick stuff out, kind of how the science behind what they do, and it's very similar to those write ups you get in the beginning of each one of the phases, but more in depth than that. Uh, a little bit more in depth on a particular topic. So definitely recommend it. It's actually, I listen to it when I'm doing the workouts. Um, it's something I listen to when I'm doing uh, like my warm up or on the days when I'm doing some cardio stuff. Uh, you can see also on here, you do get some skills stuff, which, you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, they're not really skills guys. Um, they're not a uh, like a Pavel Barber or somebody teaching you crazy uh, stick stuff, uh, but they do touch on it. I mean, it is hockey related, so they do touch on uh, hockey stuff with it, which is which is nice to have it in there. Uh, then some more stuff down here. Uh, if you haven't used uh, like workout sheets, uh, you know, sets and reps and stuff, and supersets and tri sets, and things like that. And what I think is super super good for their program in particular for beer leaguers is how to schedule hockey training around games. Uh, they there's a lot of talk on uh, 
scheduling hockey workouts around for uh, kids. You know, they have a pretty set schedule, like maybe they have games every Friday and Saturday or Saturday and Sunday or something like that. But for beer leaguers, if you're anything like my league, your games are pretty much any night of the week and probably late at night. Could be not so late at night. Who knows? Um, and they talk about scheduling that, how to kind of adjust your schedule throughout the week to get your workouts in and when you should and shouldn't have them maybe before games or after games or same day games and stuff like that. Uh, they do touch on that. And that's another thing they touch on in uh, a couple of podcast episodes. Super handy, super helpful, and just nice to have somebody actually care about that. Because usually it's just, eh, you know, whatever. If you're not a, uh, a kid playing like juniors or trying out for a, a high school team or something like that, eh, you'll figure it out. Uh, these guys do walk you through some of that. Uh, and then some more explanation on deloading and stuff, which is really important because they do talk a lot about recovery as well. Um, so there you go. That's kind of what you get with it. Uh, I will say that their, uh, their programs, the pluses are they're super easy to follow. They are really complete. Um, they're actually a pretty good price, too, for online training stuff. Uh, one of the things that's a little bit, I, I guess, probably not great about it is if you're newer to working out, you know, have a ton of experience, uh, you might need a little bit more hand-holding than they give you. Uh, they don't really, you know, they don't tell you weights to use and stuff because obviously it's different for everybody. But if you're someone that's unsure of how to make sure you're really getting um, kind of the most bang for your buck uh, for picking out weights and stuff like that for a workout, uh, this might not be the best thing for you to kind of learn it on this. You might be better off to go to something a more, uh, I guess, basic workout than this is and kind of learn that stuff and then start doing something along the, these lines. Um, it, it's That's kind of the only downfall I see with it is, it is it does give you the template, but it doesn't give you all the, uh, maybe all the stuff to fill it in necessarily uh, straight from them. You kind of have to know that on your own uh, and figure it out on your own. Uh, for me, kind of that first week that I do these exercises is I do my best guess at weights. Uh, sometimes in the middle of sets, I'll just kind of like, whoa, nope, that weight is way too much. I'm not going to be able to handle this for you know, however many more I have to do. Or like, whoa, that's way too light. Let me switch to something heavier and see if that works. And that first week is kind of the feeling out period for what it should be. And then it's fine for the rest of the um, phase. It is good. So that's my only kind of downside there with it. There you go. Uh, so I'll say there is a couple other things that they have with the program that I really like that you can uh, get as add-ons. Uh, or you can get a separate programs too. Um, one of the things that came with this was a uh, hockey stretch uh, program, which I think is really great. It's for unlocking your hips. They talk a lot about unlocking your hips because in general, hockey players have tight hips. And then especially for like adult hockey players in uh, beer league, you probably sit all day at work. So your hips are probably really tight. And they have a lot of different ways, of, a lot of different stretches to go through and really help loosen those up. Uh, which is great. Uh, they actually, here's a whole video on it. It shows a couple stretches you can do at your desk at work, uh, and you don't look super weird doing them, uh, which is nice. Uh, they also have here a hockey hip fix program that is just for that. Again, it's same as the other ones. Uh, the regular programs here is they have uh, demonstration videos. They have a routine for it. And then they also have some bonus uh, videos here for your ankles, lower body, stuff like that for just kind of stretching it out. And and there's uh, there's a yoga routine for it, and the big one here I think is the mohawk skating drill because a lot of times people want to do those mohawks, which is if you don't know what that is, that's when you take your skates and kind of put them like ankle to ankle and skate around a circle. Uh, I think everybody always shows Crosby doing it because he does it all the time, and a lot of people can't do it because they just don't have the hip and ankle mobility to do it to even really get close to it. They just don't have the mobility to open up their legs enough to do that. Uh, so kind of the idea is with this hip fix program is you should be able to get pretty good at doing a mohawk or pretty close to doing one. And so here's some skating drills to go with that, uh, which is really nice. Um, and so here, here's the demonstrations of everything. Uh, these are a little bit more... Uh, these aren't ones you would do at your desk at, at work. I'll say that. Um, nothing's crazy. None of the exercises are nuts for stretching. Um, these are things to do maybe, you know, you can kind of do them whenever. You can do them watching TV. You can do them when 
like after a workout, whatever. Uh, they're, they're pretty good. Pretty good stretches for stuff. Um, I do like this, uh, this program a lot. Uh, the other uh, big one that they have is hockey yoga. I will say I love their hockey yoga program. Uh, I'm a huge yoga guy. I've been doing yoga for a super long time. Uh, and this is actually a really good yoga program. Uh, not even hockey specific. I mean, I guess it's specific from the way that they do focus on things that hockey players generally need help with, but that's it. Otherwise, it's just some good yoga uh, practices here. See, they got a couple different types of yoga. Uh, they've got a total body. They've got one for loosening up shoulders. It's the hip fix one again, one for working on your core, one for working on shoulders and hips uh, again there. Um, they're all around 20 to 30 minutes. All really good uh, yoga uh, workouts. Definitely recommend that. Honestly, if you don't even care about the regular workouts and the other stuff, you can get this separately, and I totally recommend it. Uh, it's really good to do. Uh, it's something to do uh, on like your off days, or if you work out in the morning and you're looking for something to do in the evening, this is a great thing to do. And like I said, they're all pretty short. They're 20 to 30 minutes, so nothing super long, uh, and it does help. They do really focus on the stuff that they say they're going to focus on, and they also realize a lot of people that are doing this have probably never done yoga before or have maybe gone to one or two classes of yoga and so they do walk through it very nicely uh, I will say as for doing yoga doing a yoga routine if you haven't ever gone to a yoga class I do recommend going to some yoga classes though not just sticking with the videos uh, because yoga instructors well good yoga instructors can help correct you if you're doing something wrong or you're a little bit out of uh, alignment with something and little tiny tweaks to your form make huge differences so I do recommend every so often actually going to a regular yoga class uh, just to kind of have somebody look at what you're doing and, and see if you're way out of whack with something um, but otherwise love their hockey yoga I think it's great um, totally recommend it totally recommend this over anything else if you were gonna get one thing out of here uh, so there you go there's kind of my review of the uh, of the HockeyTraining.com, uh, I guess, ecosystem of their exercises. Uh, I really like it. Uh, I've really liked their regular workouts. Uh, I love their stretching workouts. They do a great job with that because they really do focus on stuff that I think, especially for uh, like the men's league, beer league, hockey players, is super important that doesn't get talked about. Because uh, I think a lot of a lot of people that are trying to get in shape. Uh, for hockey, you know, you're probably lifting heavy and you're, you're getting stronger and doing stuff like that, but you're not stretching because just in general, most people don't stretch and they should. Uh, and so I think that's great that they have that stuff here. Um, yeah, I love all that stuff. Like I said, stuff that's a little bit, uh, you know, you might want to might want to think about is if this is your first ever time kind of doing a, a workout program, maybe start with something a little bit more basic or get somebody that has some more experience to kind of help you out with it to make sure you're using not using weights that are too heavy or too light or something like that uh, a lot of people use super light weights when they're doing things and it's kind of like you're not really lifting weights at all then that's something i see a lot at the gym so definitely recommend doing that also to some of the cardio stuff uh is a little i guess intense uh for what it requires um some of the stuff I haven't been able to do and just kind of find an alternative exercise or alternative workout for it uh, because I don't have access to like a track um, or these huge areas that I might need or some of the stuff is like partner driven and stuff and I don't have that. So it's kind of just finding some alternative for it, which none of that stuff is hard to do. Uh, same thing with any of the exercises. If they require stuff that uh, you don't have or your gym doesn't have, um, you can find alternatives for it. Most of it is pretty basic stuff that any commercial gym will have um, or even a well-equipped home gym will have you know basic stuff like dumbbells barbells maybe uh, some cable stuff which you can do with bands or find an alternative with dumbbells and barbells to do pretty close to um, so it, it, it all works pretty good um, all different stuff you can do with it uh, so there you go uh, I think it's overall super handy uh, I think it's a really good deal for what it is uh, like I said, especially recommend the hockey yoga. I think that's uh, pretty on point with stuff. But if nothing else, I would say check out their YouTube channel. A lot of free stuff on there. A lot of free workouts. Uh, a lot of the stretching stuff they have on there for things. 
uh, and also listen to the podcast. Their podcast is really great, and I think gives you a real good sense of where they're coming from with stuff and if you would like their programs or not. All right. Thanks a lot, everyone, and we'll see you in the next video.